determine the length of AD in terms of P. So let me just highlight AD here so that uh, we can have a bit of clarity. So this AD, right? And then we want AD in terms of P, right? Uh, if you look at this triangle here, you're gonna see that uh, BD uh, has this length of 2P and AB has a length of square root of 5 uh, P, right? So we can use that triangle ABD. It has the most information and it has our variable P that we're supposed to determine AD in terms of. So let's use triangle ADB to determine the length of AD. Uh, in triangle ADB, you'll realize very quick here that this angle here is 90 degrees, right? And AD is actually the hypotenuse of that triangle. If it is the hypotenuse, then we can use the Pythagoras theorem, right? So we're gonna see that uh, 7.1, uh, we have AD squared, right? Hypotenuse squared uh, will be equals to the other two sides uh, squared, right? So BD squared, there we go. So we're gonna have AD squared being equals to, what is AB? AB is square root of five multiplied by P, right? Squared plus BD squared. What is BD? That is 2P, right? And then we square that. So AD squared will be equals to 5P squared plus 4P squared. Now it's uh, easy to see that AD squared is equals to 9P squared, right? If you take square root on both sides, you're going to get AD is equals to 3P, right? And just like that, we're done with that question. Now let's solve 7.2. 7.2 says that let's show that the length of CD, the length of CD, let's just highlight CD before uh, we go any further, right? So we are interested in uh, CD, right? Uh, let's show that the length of CD is equals to 3P uh, sine of X plus X divided by square root of 2 sine of X, right? So let's look at CD. So we have the length of AD, right? Uh, we're saying that it is 3P. And then uh, we have CD. So if you look at triangle ACD here, you will realize that uh, here we have X, uh, here we have 45. Uh, so this angle here should be 180 minus 45 uh, minus X, right? So we have uh, two angles and one known side. We can use the sine rule, right? So let's, you know, try apply the sine rule and see what happens. So if we do that, we're going to get a uh, sine of A divided by A. We are in triangle ACD there, right? Let's be very clear about that. Being equals to sine of B divided by B. So you take sine of an angle and on the denominator, you put uh, the side opposite that angle, right? So if we say uh, sine of X here, then we're going to put 3P as the denominator, right? So let's do that. We're going to have sine of X divided by 3p right uh, because uh, that is the length of ad being equals to let's not forget our aim we want to prove uh, the length of cd right so we're going to use this angle here which is uh, 180 minus 45 is 135 so the size of that angle is actually 135 uh, minus x right so we're going to have sine of uh, 135 minus x uh, divided by CD, right? The length we're interested in. Uh, but then now it gets a bit complicated. You will realize that here we actually have a compound angle, right? Uh, but then that shouldn't be a problem because we know that if we have sine of A uh, minus B, uh, this will be equals to sine of A uh, cos of B minus uh, cos of A sine of b right so we can just uh, use that formula there to get rid of sine of 135 minus x right because we cannot determine that because we don't know what x is so we're gonna have sine of x divided by 3p being equals to uh, so that will be sine of 135 multiplied by cos of x minus uh, cos of 135 multiply by sine of x and then everything divided by uh, cd right so we have cd here so sine of x divided by 3p will be equals to sine of 135 sine of 135 uh, is square root of 2 divided by 2 and then multiply by uh, cos of x right we don't know x so we cannot do anything to that and then minus uh, cos of 135 cos of 135 
is minus square root of 2 divided by 2. So this, this will just become plus square root of 2 divided by 2. And then sine of x is just sine of x, right? There's nothing more we can do there. Divided by cd, right? So sine of x divided by 3p will be equals to uh, obviously we're taking square root of 2 divided by 2 as a common factor right uh, but then before we do that uh, we know fully well that square root of 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 divided by square root of 2 right you can actually prove this say that say square root of 2 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 you will get 0 because they are equals to each other right so instead of uh, writing square root of 2 divided by 2 we can write 1 divided by square root of 2 right and take that as a common factor instead uh, so we're gonna have cos of x plus sine of x divided by c d right uh, so this uh, we can cross multiply here if we cross multiply we're gonna get uh, sine of x uh, multiplied by c d being equals to uh, 3p multiplied by 1 divided by square root of 2 multiplied by cos of x plus sine of x right and then everything divided by um no we, we're not dividing yet we're not dividing yet uh, but now we can divide both sides by sine of x right uh, if we go ahead and divide uh both sides by sine of x then we're gonna have cd being equals to uh 3p multiplied by 1 divided by square root of 2 uh multiplied by cos of x plus sine of x uh, divided by sine of x right uh, but then instead of putting uh, 1 divided by square root of 2 on the numerator we can just write cd as uh, 3p multiplied by cos of x plus sine of x uh, divided by uh, sine of x and then uh, multiply by square root of 2 and we have proved exactly what we are supposed to prove now let's you know do the last question 7.3 7.3 saying to us uh if it is further given that p is equals to 10 so p is equals to 10 and x is equals to 110 degrees let's calculate the area of um triangle adc right uh the area of triangle adc let me just erase a few stuff so that uh we can have you know a bit of clarity here so we want triangle a a um adc adc we are interested in triangle adc right so when we want to find uh the area of a triangle right uh, we say half uh side one side two and then sine of uh the angle the two sides sandwich right so in this question we know the length of size ad right and we know the length of size uh cd so we have to use this angle here that they sandwich right so if we do that we're going to get the area of that triangle being equals to a half and then um 3p right uh, ad and then multiply by the other side uh, cd and then sine of uh 45 uh, degrees right uh, but we know what cd is so let me just uh put uh, what cd is there instead so cd is 3p multiplied by sine of x plus cos of x um everything divided by uh, square root of 2 sine of x and multiply by sine of 45 uh, we know what p is right p is 10 and we know that x is equal to 110 so we can just substitute uh 10 and 110 there right uh so so that I don't waste time, I'm just gonna do it here already, right? So instead of p there, I'm going to put uh, multiply by 10, right? Because uh, p is 10. Here I'm also going to multiply uh, 3 by 10. Instead of uh, sine x and cos x, I'm just going to have um, sine of 110, sine of 110 plus cos of 110 divided by sine of 110 right and then if you put this in your calculator you should get uh, 143.11 uh, units squared 